So hello people! Today I would like to add a little bit more animation to our game. At the moment we have only the fox idle animation. So you can check that going here to animation and see what sprites we have imported for that animation. We should have now the possibility to add another one. But only if you have selected the fox at the moment. If I click in here, nothing happens. So we need to go to the prefab, the fox, and get used to always open it in prefab. I don't always do that and sometimes I regret it. So learn from my mistakes, go always and open the prefab. So now you should be able to create a new clip. So we will call that fox run animation. Because the fox has already an animator, you see he has already now created the state fox run in here. That is important later. At the moment we would like to add now our sprites to make this animation working. So we have already here the sprites, but always check the three things I told you which are important for pixel art. Well, at least uh, in our case we have three configurations. The one is the compression, which is set to none. We have the filter, mo the filter mode to point no filter and now we need to adapt the pixels per unit. As always we have decided to work with 16. So now we can just drag and drop them in here. So let's test how that looks. It will be very fast, yes. So this is not flash the game. Um, so we need to change that. You have here the samples, which I remember I put it to 8 last time for the idle animation. But that's a little bit too slow. Let me try 12. Yes, that looks about right. And believe me, you will later come here and tweak a little bit around until it works as you, uh, how to say, as you feel your game should work. At the moment, we'll leave it for 12. So now that we have our new animation, Fox Run, uh, you see we have here the animation controller. Remember, we put it in here, Fox Anim Controller. So this is the Unity way to decide when he should switch for one animation or another. Okay, let me try to explain that complicated thing. So you see we have here the different states. So they are called states. So, and one of those states represent one of those animations that you see in here. So this is, this is, they have the same name, but it's not to be confused. So means, actually, let's say, if you would like to have that, you can just delete that and you can call it run. And you can call that jump and you can call that idle, you see? but it still references to the different uh, animation that you have created. So now we need to define how you go from one state to another. It doesn't matter on which state you are, you are then on any state. Means if you are on idle, you are at the moment on any state idle. So you can make a transition to run and you can make a transition to jump. Very well. Now, if we click here on the transition itself, uh, 
uh, you can define how you go from one state to another, how long it should take, but there is no way that you can move from um, idle in this case to run because you don't have any condition set. So it needs a trigger to move from the idle state to the run state. The Corgi engine has such a solution. Under animations, when you go down, you have here some booleans which you can take. In this case, we have the walking boolean and I think we will definitely have one which is called jumping. So walking and jumping. Those are the names and this uh, references in that case when your character is um, moved by the horizontal movement script. So that means here for run, well, first you need to define here the parameter. So you add one, which is a boolean, as you have seen, and it's walking. And let's create the next one, which is jumping. So the Corgi engine, when you jump or when you walk, he will set those parameters to true. At the moment, they are not true. So now if we go here to run, we have the conditions. When should it change to the condition of run? Then you can say when walking is true. And here, when jumping is true. And actually, to be very precise, you should have the one that goes to idle, which is idle, also a boolean. So idle. And here we set the condition when idle is true. So after defining the parameters which are out of the box from the Corgi engine, and which are then able to change our states which will trigger our animation, it should work. Let's see. Okay. Oh yes. Yes, it's working. The only thing it's a little bit lagging, you know. It's just less than a second which he is um, using the old animation this can be so many things then again please check break his uh, animation tutorial uh, one of the things that could be is that it has an exit time in this case we don't have an exit time but I will either way put here zero for the transition, zero for the transition offset and put here next state and can transition to self. It's taken out. And I will do the same in here. Next state and well. Okay, let's see how that's working. Oh yes, that's definitely snappy. Look at that. It's working. Perfect. So now we have a working animation. That was a lot to chew, so uh, please don't forget to check uh, the tutorial of Brakeys. Also Unity has some wonderful tutorials about how animation works and this is a very easy one. You can get more complicated if you want to have a better animation. So let's say from jumping, what's, ha what's happening when you jump and run at the same time? Well, well, in this case it doesn't make sense, but 
it, it can sometimes the logic can collide and then you need to make some exceptions so check that and also go in here and check the different animation parameters that you have so let's say colliding left or colliding right there are different booleans that you can use also for different animations that you have so check those out and be creative let me know if you have any questions here and I need to say goodbye I promised my son to play Worms today okay bye